Hey guys, this is Meenakshi Bhatt. You're welcome on my channel. So here is our today's topic. It is clean room classification. Basically, this is relevant to our previous session, which was H B A C, and under N V P C, non-viable particle count test of H V A C, this comes there, right? So here is the reference of clean room classification. The basic guideline. For clean room classification is ISO 14644. All the other regulatory bodies, these are following ISO only. So there are four part of ISO. Part one is the classification of air cleanliness. Part two is the continued compliance of that. Three, all the test method and methodology are there in part three. And part four is related to design, construction, and starter. Then the other guideline, the WHO TRS, the PICS GMP guideline. There is also the requirement of clean room classification. So these are the some definitions which are relevant to our clean room. What is clean room? Clean room is in which the concentration of airborne particle is controlled. Secondly, the constructed and used in a manner to minimize the introduction, generation, and retention of particle inside the room. The other parameter like the temperature, humidity, and pressure, this all must be controlled in our clean room. The installation, the clean room, or one or more clean zone together with all the associated structures. our air treatment system all the services and utilities right then the classification the level of air borne particle cleanliness which represent what should be the maximum allowable concentration in that particular clean zone in particle per cubic meter of air for considered size of particles so the particle what is particle the particle is our solid or liquid object which for purpose of classification of air cleanliness falls within a threshold size in the range from 0.1 to 5 micron so in clean room classification the one question which always comes our mind like what is the as built at rest and in operation requirement when we do the facility qualification so we we always see at rest in operation so what are these so first is our as built as built condition is when all the installation is complete all services functioning is there but no production equipment no material or no personnel are present in your area so this is your as built state second is at rest no personal present there your production equipment is there your installation is complete material could be there but no personal is there in the area so this is your at rest condition then our in operational installation is functioning in the specified manner and specified number of personals are there full phase is not running there only the functioning in a particular in a specified manner right so here is the classification the mp classification the particulate cleanliness of air shall be defined in one or more of three occupancy states which are over as well the rest or in operational so this is the classification class a b c and d at rest 0.5 and 5 micron 0.5 and 5 micron we are taking why we are taking only this size because in pharmaceuticals we considered only this otherwise there are different classes there are um, many more classes but in pharmaceutical we considered only this classes so guys remember one thing that the basic criteria 
the basic classification is comes from ISO all our other guidelines our in house practices we follow ISO or any other guideline where we are selling our products but we can go stringent with the ISO parameters with the, their requirement but we cannot relax from there those are the basic parameters right so in who gmp the terminology grid a b c and d user in who gmp in united state 209e m3.5 for grid a m3.5 for grid b m5.5 is our grid c and m6.5 is equivalent to grid d then second is our united states customary here class 100 is somewhere like grid a class 1000 is our grid b class 10000 is our grid c and class 1 lakh is grid d in iso 5 6 iso 5 iso 6 iso 7 iso 8 these terms we are using in iso and in eec our european commissions grade a b c and grade d these terms are used in eec but all these are somewhere same so this is the classification we already mentioned this in our hvac and vac part then there are some questions which comes when we are talking about the facility qualifications such as what age measured in the air class 3 4 and 5 are based on the maximum number of 0.1 and 0.5 micron particle that are permitted in cubic foot of air approaching any work operation within the room and our class 6 7 8 are based on the number 0.5 micron particles and pharmaceuticals basically we rely on vilan like we we are dealing with class 5 6 7 8 so the minimum particle size which we are taking which we are considering it is 0.5 this is the reason behind because we, in pharmaceutical we are not going for our class 1 2 3 4 in other industries these are using but we, uh, here we just need 5 6 7 8 so we pick minimum is 0.5 micron this is the reason behind and what is micron to give you a um, general idea of what being measured one micron is about one hundredth of the width of human hair and the smallest particle seen with the naked eye is 10 micron particle so the all the particle size what we are talking about 0 0.5 and 5 micron you cannot see this your naked eye right what do this particle sorry where do these particles come from the clean room is under positive pressure so keeping out new particle from coming in so where do they come from we shed our outmost layer of skin every 24 hours that is 1 billion flakes every 24 hours and one flake is about 35 microns yes guys this is the truth that we human we are the major source of contamination we are one of the major sources who create these particles either you block all the outside contamination you can block all the things but you cannot avoid your presence in your area and you are the one of the major sources so this is the classification according to pics grade a Grade A is the local zone for high risk operation like your filling zone, your open and fuel and vials, making a septic condition connections, provide by LF workstation with a homogeneous air speed which should be in the range of 0 0.36 to 0 0.5 micron and a unit direction air flow should be there and lower velocities may be used in post isolator and glove boxes then grade b for septic preparation like filling the grade b is nothing but this is the background for grade a zone 
remember one thing that in in pharmaceutical in classification you cannot go from d to a you need stage wise like grade d then c then b then a this is the way how we create our grade a thing then grid C and D clean area for carrying out less critical stages in the manufacturing of steroid products. These areas are using and uh, grid D is yes in oral in your tablet capsule preparation we do in uh, grid D area. So this is the all about clean room classification. Thank you for choosing us. Stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you guys.